repression of painful memories is sometimes called will forget, willed forgetting. Yet true forgetting is blank in the phenomenon of repressed memories. Now, you can, and you probably should, stop here and just take a moment to sniff the grass, so to say. See what's going on. Is there enough? Are there any clues? We have repression of painful memories. It's called will forgetting. And now we're comparing true forgetting to this idea of repressed or willed forgetting. But we don't really know what, what it's more than. And so it is okay to read on. Don't think you have to go blank at a time. So we have the next words, in spite of. In spite of the effort that it blanks. So again, we're here. We don't really know. Repressing unwanted memories is less blank than truly forgetting them. Gosh, now I'm really lost. However, read to the very end. For repressed memories are pr prone to come back. Oh, repressed memories, you try to push them down, this will forgetting. But what happens? They come back up. They're not like true forgetting. So repressing unwanted memories, blank three, is less permanent than true forgetting. Now we can work backwards. Second blank. In spite of the effort that it blanks, we're repressing unwanted memories. So wow, it, you have to really push them down. So it requires. I look at the answer choices. I see eases doesn't work. I see entails works perfectly. But then a part of me says, well, conveys could work kind of because it's talking about willed forgetting and that that conveys that you have to you have effort. So isn't that right? And then I stop there and I say, well, what is the set? How is the sentence structured? If you look at E, I'm going back and I'm looking way above me to the first part of the sentence where it says will forgetting. But it's that phrase repressing unwanted memories that actually follows this blank here, the second blank. And so what E is doing is trying to trap us by thinking willed forgetting this phrase conveys. But that's up over there. Again, it's this action, this action repressing unwanted memories entails not conveys, therefore F. So we have two of our answers and now we can hopefully get the first one pretty easily. Yet true forgetting is the length of the phenomenon of repressed memory. Well, it's true forgetting is more permanent, it's different, something of that matter. So I look at A, less controlled. I say, well, is true forgetting less controlled? Well, who said repressed memory was controlled? You try to control it, but it comes back. So that doesn't make sense. Out with A. Different in its effect. Sure, definitely different in its effect. That nothing, nowhere in the sentence can we infer that it's far more common. So therefore, that leaves us with B. And again, BFG, those are our answers.